Hey guys, I'm Charan from Just Ready Things. In this video, I'll be talking about how to use a new product that I released a while ago. That is StyleKit. StyleKit is a bunch of node groups that can be used to create different types of tile patterns procedurally and easily. You can purchase this pack from a Gumroad using the link in the description. First of all, let's go through what you'll be getting with this pack. There are two versions that you can choose from. The one with demo files, the one without demo files. So in the full version, you'll be getting the file with all the node groups in it and also all the example scenes I made. They are the morning pavement scene, octagonal tiles, marble hiring bone tiles, sandstone material, brick material and some other tile presets. All the advanced tile generators have controls to make height variations and tilt variations, whereas simple ones are less computationally expensive and can be used to make good ArcVis renders. Now let's see how to use the pack. To append these node groups, go to File, Append, now look at Just Ready Things Style Kit version 1.0 and go to Node Groups and select All Node Groups or else you can go to Append All Node Groups file and append that one as well. It consists of all node groups inside it. I have already set up a basic scene with lighting. Let's select the plane and add a new material. Now let's add an advanced style generator. For that let's go to Add Menu, Groups and you can choose any one of those. I will choose the advanced octagonal tiles. Setting this up is pretty easy. All you have to do is add a texture coordinate node and connect the UV coordinates to the vector. You can use anything, but I'll use UV for now. And let's look at the height output and let's go to the render view. So this is what we have so far. Now let's go through all the controls, whatever we have. So here, the overall scale will increase the scale. Like let's change this to 10 and see what happens. Yeah, there you go, it scales. And then the diamond shape or and diamond size controls the diamond here. So the size increases or decreases the size and the shape will make it a rhombus or a square as you can see here. So let's make it a square now and the motor width controls the width of the motor and the bevel strength will say how smooth the fall off is and the rounding obviously uh, rounds the corners but let's leave it unrounded for now and that's it that's basically the basic controls the next one comes with the height variation and the tilt variation which works with displacement for that let's add a displacement node and connect the height socket to the height and displacement scale to the scale and you can set the mid level to anything but I'll set it to zero and now let's connect the displacement to the displacement you can't see much happening because there is no much geometry to work with. So let's add the plane and let's select the plane and add a subdivision surface modifier. And I will choose a simple and I'll choose adapter subdivision. To turn this on, you have to be in experimental feature set in the render properties. And this only works with cycles. So now when you look at the camera view, now here you can see the displacement happening. The other controls here are the height variation and the tilt variation. Before that, to make it more visible, let's increase the maximum displacement to 0.5. So this will actually show you how much it is displacing, see? And now, when you increase the, so the variation amount basically increases the number of tiles that have height variation. Right now it is at 50%, right, 0.5. Now you can increase the intensity a little. And you can see there are a few tiles. I mean, it's not that visible, so let's go all the way up. Now, there you go. See, we have height variation. And you can increase the variation amount to one. So every single tile has a height variation. So to refresh the whole thing, you can go to edit mode and come back. So that will update the geometry and you'll get a pretty clean thing. And the dicing scale here is at one and the viewport dicing scale is at two here. It's under the render properties, subdivisions, the viewport is at 2. Normally it will it will be at 8 or something. So I would like to keep it at 2 because my system can handle it. And let's decrease intensity about like 0.5 or something just to have a little variation. And the next one is tilts. Tilt basically tilts each and every tile. Like when it is at 0, it doesn't do much. So let's turn this all the way up. So it will turn every single tile a little bit ra in the random direction. And the tilt strength uh, is at 1. So let's decrease it to 0.2 or something. So it ha it is just a little. Maybe this is too much. So the displacement uh, I recommend is about, about 0.2 or something. 
there you go the next feature from this pack is the surface details so there are a few surface details that comes along with this pack in which the main ones are cracks and dents so you have two types of cracks here one is a cracks with broken tiles and the other one is a normal cracks so we'll be looking at the broken tiles one because it's more advanced so all you have to do is connect the height map to the height socket random cell vector to the random cell vector and random color to the random color so now the outputs are combined height map which you should be plugging it to the height instead of, like the height socket of displacement node the next one you have the crack masks and this will be more visible when you decrease the bevel of the cracks there you go and then the crack masks and the broken tiles you can increase the number of broken tiles by increasing the value in the socket you can go all the way up to make every single uh, tile to crack but here these are the ones and when you look at the camera view this is how it looks and now when you look at the principal bsdf shader you can see that uh, we have cracked tiles and also broken tiles this is how you add cracks to the tiles and this works with every other node group as well all you have to do is plug the height socket random cell vector and random color to the inputs and change the values if you got the full version you'll also get the demo files now let's go through some of the demo files in which i like the evening payment scene which is one of my favorite and this is the node setup i mean you can go through all the node setup for the tiles and this is how it looks this is the reference image which i used and this is the one which i got the important thing which you should remember is the lighting is completely done using the sky texture and this will only work in 2.91 plus so don't open the file in 2.83 or something if at all if you do so uh, download 2.91 and reopen the file or else this will get uh, lost all the values and the simulator get messed up these are the default values and this is how it looks with the default values which is not ideal so while playing with the sky texture i got these values which are really good and the other scene which you'll be getting is the sandstone and brick tiles so this is how it looks and uh, i know this is a bit complex but um i just want to show the possibilities so this is the sandstone material and the other one is the brick material the brick material there are two versions one is this one which has a uh, less scale so you can increase the overall scale here like by multiplying by two which looks something like this and even this one is using adaptive subdivisions so you should keep in mind and the other brick variation is just to see if it works or not uh, which are not that realistic but this one look quite realistic to me and yeah there you go and there are so many other stuff as well like uh, you'll also be getting this file which is um, octagonal tiles and this is one of my favorite that I did so far and it's not the computation expensive because um, the one which you see here is nothing but the node group that I made like called noise double and just some color variations and that's basically it Go through the nodes and play around with these nodes and have fun with it. And thank you guys. Uh, I hope you like the pack and you can download the pack from the link in the description. And I'll see you next time. Bye.